should do. Um, hi everyone. Um, I wanted to come on here to basically talk about everything that's going on right now because I know I've been kind of silent on it all day. But it's only because I've been trying to like take time to fully process what's even going on because I can't even believe it to be honest. Um, first thing I want to start off by saying for everyone calling Zoe a rapist, all this stuff. Zoe never raped me. Not once did she ever. Not once would she ever. That's so foul. I don't even know why you are bringing that up. That's not okay. Um, another thing that I want to say is that there was no interactions between me and Zoe. I don't know where that was coming from. I don't know if the texts were photoshopped, if what, what was the case, whatever. If whatever the case was, if Amber was just upset, I don't know what it was, but I just want to clarify that that is not true and that at this point it's already blasted all over social media I would come on here and tell the truth if it were to be true therefore like I'm just simply want to say that that's not true and that 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 that, that, that didn't happen people actually believe this lab okay why are you you're a fan page but then you're when she makes him stay, no one made me stay silent. I stay silent myself because I was upset that my someone that I call my best friend went and turned on us and talked about us poorly. Basically, made false things up about us, talked about us poorly, and not even not talked about us to Cody. And that's not shade or anything. I'm just genuinely talking about like it took me a minute to even process that she would even do that because Amber is a good person. And I seen this. I I've seen this screenshot. Kira, Zoe is not forcing me to go live. I decided to go live myself because I needed to talk about this. Okay, both me and Zoe are not okay right now. We're, like, trying to figure out what to do in this situation because this is something very serious. That's not... That's trying to be taken as jokes. And what really bothers me a lot with social media is that people assume before actually hearing people's side of the story. Oh, never mind. Um... But, yeah, I mean, that's, main, that's mainly the part that I, that's mainly why I stay quiet is because, like, it took me, like, first off, we've dealt with these rumors for months on end, and now it really hurts, like, my feelings that one of my best friends went and joined in on these rumors and tried to tell people that they were true when they weren't. I don't know the reason why Amber left, if I'm being honest, but it wasn't due to that, because nothing did happen, means that we... Are just friends we've only ever been friends like there's nothing wrong with that and like and two literally two seconds i'm about to be done with like all of social media like this is literally being brought to like my family everyone like i'm just about done with it all um but again i think something that you guys need to think about is that zoe has a reputation she has a whole career why would she mess it up and go and do something stupid like that um that's basically what I want to say because I think that's something that you guys forget about the fact that she has a whole career. Um, that's illegal, obviously. And again, she has a whole career. She wouldn't mess that up. Because her career sometimes she takes very seriously. But this is really bothering me that not even it's not even the rumors itself because I dealt with these rumors, whatever. I didn't really care because I knew that they weren't true. But when the rumors when it's coming from someone that I was that I was best friends with when I never even did anything to them, like I don't understand why I was even brought into the situation or why my name was even brought up. Like if Amber were mad at like Zoe or upset with Zoe and then she went and texted Cody, like I would see, but I didn't do any, like me and Amber have had our times, but we've gotten through them. But Amber's a good person. And like, that's like, it would just kind of shock me. Cause like, I always know Amber is like, I'm not saying that doing this is, makes her a bad person, but like I always known her as a good person. And it just like kind of shocks me that like, what's even going on right now? And I have to like take, a process to do this. Guys, I know Cody's hacked, but she DM'd it to Cody in the original. Guys, please stop saying Zoe raped me. That is so foul because I know half of you guys in this live, or, not, or even everyone, basically everyone saying this knows it's not true. And it's not, it's not like funny to joke about at all. Um, No. Okay, then why are there proof? 
You guys are being That's shown. So you guys are being shown DMs. Do you guys realize how easy it is to make fake DMs with any person? So I don't even know if that was fully Amber saying that. It's coming from Amber supposedly, but I don't even know if that was fully her. But they're fake DMs. They or they could be fake DMs. You, you don't know. But again, you have to also understand that me, Amber, and Zoe's business has nothing to do with any of you guys. And if Amber were to get into like an argument with one of us, she could have went and said that due to the fact she was mad. I'm not saying that that if because I again I don't know if that's true or not. If these messages are real or not. But I'm saying if they are real, this could be a possibility that went through her head when she did this. Trust me. Exactly. DMs are one side of the story. You guys need to like wait before you assume and attack people and accuse people of rape before... You need to learn the full story before you attack someone. And again, this is my life. This is Zoe's life. This is Amber's life. I don't know why everyone's so invested in it or why like everyone wants to be in our business and try to assume what happened. We know what happened because we're the actual people in the situation. Um, and... Trust me, guys. If I, if I were to be raped, I would not be stay quiet on that like at all. It just doesn't make sense how, it just doesn't make sense to me on how, like, y'all even come up with this. But again, do you have physical proof of that? Like, you never know. Like, your your friend could just be saying that, and your friend could have made fake DMs of her saying that. Two months straight. Like, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't know the case. And I don't know because I haven't talked to Amber. Me and Amber aren't the closest anymore. But... But no, guys, I promise you, Zoe did not rape me. That's so, like, foul. I don't even know why, where that even came from or why that's even a thing. And if we were from those DMs, it, again, very, very, very much upsets me that someone that we called her best friend is trying to accuse her best friend of three years of rape. And again, I'm not saying that she is. I'm saying if it is the case to where the messages are real, then it's very messed up. And I, that's, the, that's the part that I mainly heard about. I don't even really care about these rumors. I've dealt with them. I know I... I don't care what you guys believe. I know it's true and I know it's not true. Therefore, if you guys don't want to believe me, that's fine, whatever. But I know the truth and that's all I need to know. I just need to believe in myself and trust in myself. And that's what I'm doing because, again, but all I'm basically saying is that all of this that they're saying never even happened. So... Please stop with these rumors. I can tell you're lying. I'm not lying. Again, you don't have to believe me, but I know what I, I know, I know it's the truth. And again, you can't accuse someone based off of a DM. They could be fake. So it that are upsetting me it's mainly just the fact that someone that like we thought was our best friend went and like turned on us i guess if she did turn on us i'm not 
like attacking her but if that is the case that really hurt our feelings and yeah so y'all can believe what you want but me and zoe know the truth and we both know that, that none of that happened so y'all can continue to not believe us or continue to spread these rumors if you want because i mean please don't because it, it's annoying me and it's bothering me because i don't want this plastered all over social media but if you could please just trust in me i wouldn't lie especially some, a situation like this, this is very serious i wouldn't lie Especially now the fact that it's already blasted over social media, there'd be no reason to, to lie. Um, so please just trust me and please believe me because I promise I'm telling the truth. And yeah, so bye y'all.